Hello everyone, Neil from Merchant Former here. This morning I want to do a quick video on something we just released and we're calling it the Merchant Informer Facebook Hunter. Now if you're familiar with Merchant Informer at all, you're probably pretty familiar with the Merch Hunter that we released last year, which is a recreation of the Merch by Amazon database. And that has been indispensable for a lot of people doing research on Amazon. But there are a lot of people who do research off Amazon and that's an excellent way to actually look at what what is actually available outside of just one marketplace so on different social networks and then bring back those ideas bring back those different styles and then put them on amazon with your own unique artwork so we released like i said the merch informer facebook hunter it's a chrome extension up here i'm going to show you how it works so i'm going make sure you click the link either above or below this video i'm not exactly sure where i'm going to put it but there will be a link it is free, but you will need a Merge Informer subscription in order to log in and use this plugin. So if you just click it here, it's going to op open up this little box. Make sure you are uh, facebook.com. This will not work anywhere else. But what this is going to do is it's going to tell you to pick a month and pick a day. We're going to go back to 2013. Um, we're going to keep it August 2018 because that's when I'm releasing this video. We put 14 different PODs out here and I'm going to show you how this works. Essentially you have all of these different PODs, okay, Teespring, Tchip, Tzilly, so on and so forth, and then we have all of these unique modifiers. So when someone or some company or really anyone posts to Facebook, they're going to probably put, you know, order this now, buy now, and it, it's going to be a link to either Teespring, Zazzle, Cafe Press, so on and so forth. Now when you pick a site, this is going to search Facebook posts, Facebook ads, anything that's basically posted on Facebook that was popular, aka there's customer demand there. If something's popular, it's showing that there's customer demand, people find it funny, people find it intriguing, people are willing to buy it. And then you can come over here and pick a unique identifier. We're just going to keep it on order now. And all you have to do to first start is just click new. And what this is going to do is it's going to go out to Facebook and it's going to pull all of these results in here. You can see this this bar is getting a little smaller. You can stop it at any time, 17 found. I'm just gonna stop it at 20 found. It's, it's fairly quick. Now what you can do is you can come over here and you can sort by likes. You know, this, this one right here, 1,200 likes, 351 shares, hover over the image. Yeah, that's probably not gonna fly on Merch by Amazon. Uh, that probably won't either. It, you know, that's that's a pretty simplistic design. Uh, there's definitely a lot that you could do in that niche. Haven't ever checked out that niche, to be honest. Not my uh, type of music. But as you can see, likes, comments, shares. Now, a lot of the times you might want to come in here and look at, you know, different shirts that have comments on them. And what you can do from here, let's say you have a bunch of data, you want to organize it somewhere. You want to you want to save it. You want to work with it. Maybe send it to your designer in the future. All you have to do is come up here and click save. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up a spreadsheet where you then have the image, you have the text with the likes and the shares and the comments. So you can use this spreadsheet, rename it, send this to your designer, really do anything you want with it. Now let's let's close this out. Let's say you're doing your research here and you've brought back, you know, I brought back 20 results, but you don't want to get rid of the results off the screen. So I could clear this out, which will clear this list and you will no longer see this. Or maybe I want to add a uni another unique identifier, maybe buy now instead of what I have that on order now. Maybe I want to do buy now. If you click add, what it's going to do is it's going to go out there and continue adding to this list. As you can see, the ticker is going up. There's now 30, 33, 34. Again, stop any time, 36. Come in here, you can sort. It did look like it picked up something new. Uh, I am an operator. I can't fix stupid, but I can fix I don't even know that says what's stupid something. Anyways, a lot of likes, a lot of comments. I can actually save this. I will open it up. And now remember, I could not read what that said before, but I should be able to copy this URL and put it in up here. And now I can read it. I'm an operator. I can't fix stupid, but I can fix what stupid does. So I have this image. I can put it in my 
I can put it in my folder full of images, full of ideas. And as you can see, if we went back here, when I was running the hunter, what do we pick here? I think we pick bot now. I'll just do a new search here. See if we can bring that one back up. There it is. So stop. It has 1,700 likes, 150 comments, over a thousand shares. So we know that that niche right there definitely has demand. People are finding it interesting. People are finding it funny. Now I have not checked that niche out on Merchant Former, but then you could open up Merchant Former, the software itself, check it out, check the competition on Amazon, and bring those ideas over. Maybe you could start a brand in that niche and really kill it because no one else is really is really using tools like this in order to bring ideas back from Facebook and then put them on Amazon. So that's going to be all for today. If you have any questions or concerns, drop them below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.